Oh, bad crackers! Oh wait, so it did happen! Oh. Where you from, cunt? 3D from Black! That's his own way, but I think he has. He's kept it, you know, his way and in, in his own way, honorable. That's one, that's one guy that I can honestly say since I've met him and known him for as many years as I have. Never changed. Drawlix is Drawlix. Yeah, he came in uh, He came in at a certain temperature and kept it real, kept it there. Kept it real, that's a good way to put it. It looks like Drawlix is going to start out with Bro Keller, one of the longer, lankier members of the MCW roster, but he definitely knows his, knows how to use it. Well, you know, I've called him before the Ichabod Crane of professional wrestling. <laughs> it's not an insult, man. The guy can, uh, you know, back in the carnival days and the days of um, pro wrestling being really a, a game of who was the best amateur wrestler. You had hookers, you had shooters, and Bill Keller would have been what you call probably a hooker because he had long limbs. He's literally able to hook an arm, hook a leg, yeah, hook an true. ankle, hook the neck, hook a half. Grab a waist lock. I like the terms that you use. Wrestling. Hey. Well, speaking of wrestling, Drawlix just clocked Bro Keller yeah, right I, in the I face. Much wrestling about that. Oh, well, that suplex was, though. In the traditional sense, yeah. That Nobody, I mean, I mean since we have been um, in the era of MCW without, uh, since the passing of the Bruiser, I think the master of the suplex, or as Gordon Sully would say, suple, is undoubtedly an MCW draw leg. Um, so I guess Boom Hayden decided to tag himself in, and he's down already. Yeah, it's no Ric Flair with those chops. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, I think Ninja Mac threw harder chops than Boom just did yeah. earlier. Well, Boom Hayden's a guy. I know he. Oh my lord! I know he wanted to compete in the Shamrock Cup. The guy's got a hell of a lot of help. Yeah, yeah. He's always out there. He's always doing his best. Double suplex, Black Wall Street on the Boom Hayden. Here's the cover. One, two, uh, not even two. And Ken Dixon has seen that. And I'll say this. He's seen something in Boom Hayden, and he's determined to make the young man a, a man man, a grown man. Well, you know, and I think that's part of what the endearing quality is uh, with Boom Hayden. You see, he's got a lot of heat, uh, a lot of heart, excuse me, after that shoulder block from Ken Dixon on the Chuck Lennox. Dixon catches him. Yeah, he's not Andretti. Andretti's got a lot of heat. Yeah. <laughs> Boom Hayden's got a lot of heart. Yeah. So you got you got to think like Dixon knows a thing or two about being a man's man. He had the man's man um, kind of learned it doing contract work overseas in Iraq. Learned it having the and piss beaten in Africa, having the piss beaten out of him by the Bruiser and that man in there uh, on the apron, Drolix. Oh, nice innovative maneuver! They're just throwing Boom Hayden's body at the midsection of Chuck Lennox. And Boom Hayden, so excited. So excited to be a part of this team. Well, oh, is, is this something that we can say, Brent? What? The reason why Ken Dixon has become more endearing is because he has kind of taken over that uncle, father, male. Like the drunk uncle? Yeah, yes. The drunk uncle? The drunk uncle. Yeah, I think so. I think the fans here have noticed it. I certainly have. I mean, there's nothing changed about Ken Roll Dixon. Up. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Well, this is going to be awful. Yeah, there's nothing. And when I say ugly, I mean. It's going to be pretty offense. It's going to be effective offense, but it's going to be ugly for the competition with yeah. Joe Keys. I'm about to say, also remember, it's Joe Keys. Joe Keys is one of the more brutal members of the MCW roster. Again, no more of this. Oh. All he wants to do is win. You can say what you want about One, that. two. That time of two count on Boom Hayden. You see no wasted space, no wasted emotion, no daylight between the hold and offense from Joe Keys. Yeah, but I think that is the deal with Ken Dixon. I think that's what has endeared it. Oh! Low bridge, drop kick. Over the, over the top low, too. And I think Ken Dixon is, is dedicated, unless his intentions are not what they seem. And I think, hey, man, who better oh. to teach the little redneck hick to be a grown man hick One. than Just the human tire fire hick? Ken Dixon. So basically, what 
better hick to learn from than the best hick? I'm saying that, you know, Cinderella's slipper fitted, well, the holy sock fits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the holy sock. Not it's holy, gotta, it's gotta like be, a sock with a hole in it. It's got to be Bobo's, too. I know what you meant. Yeah. It's got to be Bobo's. Bobo's, yes. Oh, Batcracker sends. Good Lord. Sends Boom Hayden back to the ropes, and he basically bounces back into a drop kick. Here's the cover. One, two. That's why they're the tag champs. Two count year. Ken getting fired up in that corner trying to. Trying to father his son. Trying to father his son, his illegitimate son. The court papers haven't gone through yet. And I think, you know, Boom Aiden, again, so excited. I know he got Ken Dixon a, a gift certificate to Applebee's because he was so excited about teaming with him. I mean, cute things like that. That is cute. He's is cute. Uh, oh. Hits the roast three times, lands into that. Uh, Somebody thinks they're cute, don't they? Well, I think we've established that Joe Keys definitely thinks that. Joe Keys, a formidable, technical, pure wrestler in the sense that a, yeah, a former Ring of Honor would say a pure wrestler, but I would say technical. You're going to be hard pressed to find. Oh! Oh, belly to back suplex. Guys cutting the cloth of a, you know, Dean Malenko or a Chris Benoit or Eddie Guerrero, quite like Joe Keys. Could end up being one of the top ones in the world for my money. Oh, well, man. That, I don't know. That is not something I would have done. No, you may live to regret that. Oh, and boom, Hayden's fired up a little bit. Gets that back body drop after seeing. All right, Ken, you're causing more harm than uh, good. Oh, my goodness. Almost gets the tag. Boom, Hayden still left stranded in the middle of the ring here. Hits the corner. How smart are Black Wall Street picking their spot? Hey, that's rest. First, first, first uh, pinfall. Or submission, you are the MCW Tag Team Champs, so the champs don't have to lose. However, Black Wall Street knows. Yeah, they let these two, uh, two teams, four, two falls beat each other up. Yep, until at this point in time where Boom Hayden has no choice but to tag in a member of Black Wall Street. The Black Wall Street's going to get in there fresh as a daisy. Oh, wait a second. They were both pulled off the apron by Seuss, Seduce and Destroy. So I'm assuming who's seduced, who's destroyed, it doesn't matter, interchange. I'm not gonna answer that question. Gonna incriminate me. Brooke Keller off the ropes. Ow. Oh, yeah, that's, Ow. 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 Wow. Snap your neck back, drop you with the gory buster. Out of your face, one, two, Ken Dixon's trying to get him up and he Holy does. hell. Gamble, how the hell did this little trailer turn up? Kick out of that. <laughs> Well, I imagine the fear of God as caused by your adoptive uh, male guardian may have had something to do with it, but Boom Hayden's starting to fire up, trying to get the tag from Ken Dixon. And the tag is made. Dixon's in House of Fire. Did you hear the MCW faithful erupt? That was weird. That is a... Uh, you know, oh! If you told me a year ago things I don't expect to hear, it would have been a... Big crowd pop here in the MCW arena for Ken Dixon. I mean, he may be an a-hole, but I guess he's their a-hole. That's actually a good way to put it. Bro Keller out to the outside, clotheslined over the top rope. Joe Keys going for it, hits the ropes. Big spine buster by Ken Dixon. One, two, and a kick up from that. Black Wall Street still looking on on the outside. And Dixon, the young. A uh, wily experience when has his eyes on Black Wall Street. He knows better. He's been in the wars than to turn your back when Chuck Lennox and Rollins. That nice move there. Chuck he's able to reverse it. Oh wait, did you see that? Power slam, but tag was made. Did you see the tag was I made? I did see that tag. Smart tag team work. Yep. Oh, Ken. Oh, Chuck Lennox pulling Dixon out. Being caught the worst for oh, wear. Sends him into the pole. That may be it for Ken Dixon. That might be in now. Black Wall Street all charged and energetic. Up. Oh, they're going to get. Wait a second. Bro Keller. Oh, bicycle kick. Hold on. I think that was a tag to old Tater Tots. Oh. No? I did not see it. I wasn't able to see it. Tater, Bro Keller's down, though. Tater Tots being old mullet head. I had a feeling we were talking to him. Oh, wait, so it did happen! Holy God, a discus clothesline. What power coming from such a small package. Here's cover one, two, new tag team. Oh, no. You saw him get changed in the back, too? I, I know. Maybe. 
Oh, man. Ken Dixon trying to get back in the ring. Joe Keys takes him back out again. This one has come off the rails. Jason Tanel better get some uh, control. Wait a second. Trollick's able to roll back out of that. And Joe Keys over the top. Boom, Hayden going for that cover. The mullet head. Two Go on, Wow, a little mullet head trying to steal victory Wait, from the jaws of the But he's in there by himself, pleading with the ref on the three count. He needs to turn around, but to be careful. You're on the wrong block, homie. Oh, man. Where you from, cuz? Greedy from Black Wall Street. Here's the cover. One, two, three. New, new jabs.